on my phone, perfect. Now y'all made me spill it, drop it. What's up, YouTube? How you doing? 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 Hi, it's me, Quinta again. Back with the video. Everybody's keep doing these videos. Wait first, subscribe. Seriously, subscribe. Just push the button. It's just that simple. Push the button. Anyway, welcome back to my channel. My channel. My name is Laquetta, and my channel is about what I do today. Different from what I used to do years ago. Well, months ago, seven months ago. I am a recovering alcoholic addict, and my life is about what I do with sobriety now. Which means I don't drink or drugs. I'm not selfish anymore, and I'm not out in the streets. And today I am feeling pretty good. That's what I get to do today, y'all. I'm so excited about it. I get to go drop a yarn spray from my social worker. And for you guys who don't know, my kids are in foster care due to my selfish um, behaviors and selfish thinking and with alcohol and violence. I used to always try to fight my husband. I got drunk and the police came one too many times and they took my kids away because of my craziness. But I'm trying to do my makeup. I'm going to do my makeup and test some new products that I have and talk to y'all. <laughs> I get to drop a urine today from my social worker. It makes me feel like things are back in motion. Things are moving. I talked to the kids yesterday over Zoom. Emily was in a really good spot. Ellie Pie was just waving. Ethan was trying to show us what he's been working on for his homework and stuff like that. Um, so it was really good to see them in good spirit. I'm really happy and grateful that they're with good people, great people that I know. You know, it's not family members, but it's people that I know. Ethan's with his godmother, and my two girls are with the god with the godmother's best friend. So amazing. And I'm really happy about that. I'm using some man. Something new I tried this for quite a while. There's a primer. I feel that it works. But I know I've seen something that's called um what pores? Because on my nose I can see a lot of little holes when I um do my makeup. I gotta remember to put my stuff on. So y'all, oh while wow, we had the scare of our freaking life yesterday. My mom woke up, and I hope she doesn't mind me telling her story before she probably does, but she's got a lot of subscribers, so there'll probably be a very few to hear this. But, um, my mom woke up yesterday and wasn't feeling too good. She said she couldn't really breathe. My mom's kind of sickly anyway. Not really. I hate saying that because I ain't claiming that, but that's just what it is. And, um, she woke up yesterday feeling a little bit sick. Um, and it was a different kind of sick from her normal sick. She said she had a headache, her body ached, and she couldn't really breathe that well. And, um, well, she went and had a corona test done. And her results came in today. That my mommy don't have no corona. I told her, my soul says, you're fine. I wasn't worried at all. Because my God is good, and I can feel stuff. And I told her, girl, you all right. My mom would be, my mom be all over this corona stuff. Uh, at least she got a piece and she's fine and everybody has a piece and they're fine. So she called me, texted me this morning. I'm sure she texted all of us this morning. And I have a bag of makeup. I need to get an organizer so it'll be so much easier just to find my stuff. <sighs> so she's fine. She doesn't have coronavirus. I say negative. But how are cats getting coronavirus? Animals getting coronavirus. How they saying this in the dang on me? Oh Lord, I'm so over it. I'm just, I'm really happy and I don't want no confusion that the world is opening back up so I could go to court for my kids and you know, start my home visits and I will make sure that we're safe and healthy and practice social like distancing. Like we're not gonna, just cause they're coming home, not about to run all around the streets and try to find something to do. We're gonna be inside the house. So we're gonna be fine. But I'm just really happy that it's open so I could be able to, um, you know, get my home visits with my kids because we could visit them over Zoom now. And before this all happened, we were starting new home visits. And that's eight hours a day. And then we, within the weekends, it's been a night. And then home, we're good. But I cannot do my makeup and talk. Where is my, I'm looking for my color correct. Oh, yeah. I'm going to use some color corrector. And I 
just put it under my eyes a little bit. I saw this one lady, she be drowning her face in it. I don't want to do that because last time I did that, I looked a little bit orange. I'm not really going anywhere, but just to get out the house and go drop a urine screen and still feel like I'm doing something like back on board and doing something with my life instead of like just pretty much leaving the house and going to take care of business. I feel like I'm fighting every day for my kids. Every day I have the willingness to stay clean and sober, even do what's going on. I can't get to meetings like I want to. I can't really um, go to. I can't go to church like I want to. But um, I'm still sitting home doing what I need to do is to stay sober. And first of all, I have the willingness to stay sober. I don't have the. I don't want to be drunk. I don't want to live like I used to live. And at a time like this, if a girl that's literally sober can stay sober, huh? But, oh yeah, this gives, gives me more courage. <laughs> and strength to know that good. One day at a time, I'm good. I'm happy about being sober. It's the best thing in the world. I'm able to be there for people um, emotionally, physically. My daughter Mandy comes over every day. My daughter Mandy comes over every day because she's pregnant now and she's able to come here and know that I'm here, part of because Corona can't go nowhere, but that I'm here and, I, and I'm not in the streets anywhere and I'm sober and I can help her and listen to what she's going through and she comes here to eat. Not that she can't eat at home, but she only feels like she can eat here. Like if she eat at home, she gets nauseous, she can't eat, she gotta come away, she gotta come and eat here. Yes, she, she can't eat here. I'll like go out and order her some food or something, or I'll cook her something. She doesn't want meatballs now, which is like this. So I got a real big bag in the freezer, and she come right in on her way in. Though she texts me like, "Mommy, make me a meatball sandwich," and she could eat here. She said, "That's so weird." I said, "That's mommy love. You can eat here and not feel sick and actually rest and get some sleep and just chill and come." So she's been coming for like a whole week straight or more, going on two weeks, just sitting here catching up, talking. Loving on her, listening to her, being there for her, being encouraging to her, being supportive, actually being able to hear her, not overreacting because I'm drunk, remembering still what we talked about and what's going on and where we at in this chapter. <laughs> now you can be drunk and lose your place, like, oh, he's going to But one day you can give her good advice and the next day be telling her, hey, I'm with it. I'm just happy that I can be there for her. She's really happy that she's going to have a new baby and that her mom is clean and sober. I don't want to put a lot of makeup on. This is how I use this cover stay by Rebel Water. Oh, it feels so good. I'm not going to do a lot of makeup. I think I'm just going to do, I don't really want to do an eyeshadow either. I'm just going to do like the basic cover and my eyebrows and some lip gloss. Because, oh, my stuff is hell taking off. Especially when you get tired, tired from nothing, tired from being tired. Um, I'm trying to think of a story to tell y'all because for some reason y'all love them stories. This is a black, a brown lipstick, but I add it here so I can get that little, you know, and I add a little bit here. I love adding here because like I got a nose job and I don't. I want to tell more stories, I want to do more, but I'm not getting enough subscribers to really go here because then I'm going to have to tell the same stories over and over again. And it's only like 130 subscribers on here, and I'm not really feeling some of all these stories. And nobody's really subscribing. See how they give me a little smaller nose? Here. Yeah. Alright, here's the fun part my eyebrows. I don't know if I'm going to talk to y'all while I try to do these. And my contacts is bleary. I just 
use this brown liquid liner and it makes it look like I just sat here and did something. And I ain't did nothing. Whew. I'm tired. I really feel like doing this right now. I'll be up so early watching the news and seeing what's going on. By the time everybody else get up, I'll be ready to go back to sleep. But my husband wants to leave early to go drop this in. So that's fine with me. I feel happy to do it. I was about to go try to go back to sleep. But look for this time. I'm not even about to find it. Contacts, Larry. All right. So um, I'm going to do this eyebrow now. I'll try to get to look like this one. So much better though. I can maneuver this better than the pencil. The pencil come out weird sometimes. Oh Lord. What about that? <laughs> Look, y'all. You know what? I got something bad. Nah. It's right off. Y'all be watching my brother's channel, Dolce. Doshi and Nisha Swirl. That's my brother. They is so silly. Oh my god. Alright. I don't know if this video is going to be too interesting. I don't really have nothing to talk about. I should have a whole lot to talk about. But like I said, it's like I get more subscribers. I'm just going to come here and mess around. So I can really see people. I'm going to be able to um, go over it with my black liner, just in the parts I think I want it to be. What do y'all think? It's kind of nice. I just could use this a lot better. And there we have it. Now, to blend out this black right with this brown right here. Oh, this brush works a lot better than me using that what you call it thing. I like doing this because it makes your face look a little more snatched when you be eating stuff you ain't supposed to eat. Last night, y'all, I had some pie, some cake, red velvet cake, and ice cream, and cookies, y'all. I had a pandemic moment. I did not care. It was good. And now I felt I was sick all night long. I kept pooping. I feel like I was gone. But what? My body's not used to eat sweets no more, I guess. Or I'll be overdoing it like it's the last ice cream in the damn world. I hate ice cream. I really don't eat ice cream. But I did it. It was good. I got this LA cover. I'm just a bronzer. I don't know where I'm going to put this at. Put it back by my cheeks and my cheeks are. My nails is broke. My pinky nails is breaking. They're lifting up. So my husband down there washing the dishes right now. But such work are coming over today to the house to um, do a home visit because we're so close to going to um, court. May 13th, we go to court so she can have all her little stuff ready. She the kind of person who howled all up at once. Drop the urine. Home visit. But I don't care. Ain't nothing going on. And as long as you get it done, boo. So I can get my babies home. I'm so excited. So, um, that's pretty much it. Nothing really is going on. I just want some company while I try to do my makeup. This ain't working out. What am I about to do now? I am about to get my eyes on um, base, though. Yeah. Ooh, you know what I forgot? I think my son's woke. My 11 year old son is in the room. I think he woke because I hear some extra music. These dudes just stay on. All that um, thing all day. They play the game all day. But I ain't really saying nothing because ain't nothing else to do. But it's nerd round. I do to play that video games. But ain't nothing else to really do. He gotta get the car. He gotta get through so. Yeah, I mean, I'm talking about my husband and my son. The other night he was on that game. I woke up at 5 30 in the morning. He was still woke. I said, oh no, bruh. We ain't doing 
doing that now. Go to sleep. Get some sleep. So I woke up and looked for him earlier. He was in there knocked out with the window open. Oh, look, y'all. That's pretty. Knocked out. It's cold. And all get back, but they like the window open. And he had just a sheet on it. I'm like, well, that's what he wanted to do. He all right. He 11. So, you know, we get cold. Shut the window. I really don't like that window open, though, but my kids, my little kids get back home. That window's never going to be open. I'm going to lock it. I ain't going to lock it with no screws or nothing because I don't want to be fire hazard. But I'm going to lock it up because they little. And they look crazy. <laughs> Ethan's got braids. My son, when he was five, well, he had dreads. He had long hair and he had dreads. So he was five. When he turned five, he wanted to turn him, cut his dreads off. He thought he was grown. He had two teeth coming kind of out and he was growing his big boy teeth. And he told me that he wanted to have uh, his dress when he was five, so I told him he can. Now RJ, the foster um the godmother, she we did our video show yesterday and this little dude had braids here because he had started getting his little haircut the hair get shaved down. He has some braids and he said he wanted his dress back. So she braided it on him. I wish I could show y'all. But let me think of a story. Anything, 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 anything. anything. got nails. They don't want to go through this, especially when they can't get their nails done. I can't open the back of this to save my life. Sure, just got when the stores are back up though, I'm gonna go to um to some um makeup stores so I can get some good stuff. My eyebrows is cute. This one looks better, but I'm not about to mess with it. This is gonna dry and I'm gonna fix some more. I was looking for this thing right here to use this part to make this part right here look a little more natural but hmm, Jesus have mercy I don't even have nothing in here. Everything down in my husband's bathroom in the basement. I don't have nothing in here to open this up and I want it. Look at me. I just wanted to come on here and talk. Y'all don't have to watch it if y'all want to. I don't care. I do care. I don't care. I do care. I don't care. I do care. <laughs> They're gonna thumbs down my video. I don't care. It's like the videos I put on here that I think raw and it's gonna get views. Nobody even put that one, I even really watch them. So, I found an earring, y'all. Oh, earring. Yeah, got it open. Now let's see what this do. Oh, Lord. Then it had a nerve that you gotta turn it. It don't even click up. Ugh, that's over. Where'd this go, y'all? Let's see how this look. Oh, it's two. Oh, no. I don't like it. I don't like this. I don't know what this is. Nope. natural. If I'm trying to be natural, I guess that'll work. But yeah, at least I know what it looked like. And it looked like a nope! <laughs> Not today. Not today. Let's see. I'm going to see if I can put a little bit of this one. Real nice um, 
open makeup space so I can put stuff in each individual thing. I had a makeup brush holder, but it is broke. And don't ask me how I did that. I don't know how it drops. Lord help me, I just had the perfect brush. I don't want to use nothing too harsh because they're going to be harsh looking. Here you go. Oh, I better do mine. <laughs> I feel freaking retarded. And my kitchen, my own kitchen sink, my bathroom sink is so little. It really can't hold nothing. Here we go. I better do this first. Ow! My nail! Oh! It's lifting. You can't even bump it. You can't do nothing with that nail lifting, boy. Oh! So my husband downstairs washing dishes right now for me. But it's oh, and it's so irritating. I don't know what I'm trying to say before I'm going to pop this in. A lot of money to get my nails done. But my nails are long and I like this stiletto tip. I already put that there so it's too late.